Hey everybody, it's Wednesday and uh, just chugging along. Um, did my men's group, so I'm by the barber shop, not to get my hair cut, talk uh, shaving stuff. And took over my, uh, he asked me to bring over some soap commander and PA soaps to kind of smell, that kind of stuff. So I brought them over and it's cold. My house is 63, my heater's kind of on the fritz off and on. It's intermittently working whenever it wants to. It started last year. It's kind of chilly. So I'm going with one of my favorite winter false winter scents, Melbobe. I'm gonna match that with the aftershave. Then on top of that, I'm gonna break out my Fontana. My brush be my uh I'm gonna make this, uh, John, uh, Carrie, my Carrie brush, my Zen shave, Wisconsin brush, and my aftershave after the aftershave to put a balm in. I'm gonna use this rock face. I would use Soap Commander, but I'm not in a menthol mood. I go ahead and wet my brush. Being synthetic, I don't need to, I didn't have to soak it. Melbogue is a scent that, uh, or soap that uh, occasionally, I shouldn't say occasionally, pretty much all the time, it gives me a warming sensation on my face. It's not so bad that it makes it to where I can't use it, but it definitely is there. Even the aftershave does it too, so there's something in there. It's not a reaction, or like an allergic, like bad reaction, but it's enough that I do have to worry about it, you know, kind of think about it a little bit. Today it's well worth it. Let's see, I've used the puck a lot. Plus I've given some away as well. Should be enough on there. Nice dry load so it's not like I bowl lathered it. I would do my head shave today, but I don't really wanna. Good, I'm gonna take the, not mess with my head today, I'll do it tomorrow. I need to look into getting a robe or something too, because man, with this, uh, with the heater not working, or intermittently, uh, house gets pretty chilly. I don't mind it too much. It's kind of tough when the kids are here. Luckily, this past weekend it worked. Um, pretty much all weekend. You know, little kids, they don't like to stay in uh, blankets too often or enough. when they're sleeping. So, fortunately it's about, they can't repair it. It's one of those where they tried last year, spent a couple hundred bucks on it and worked for like a day and a half. But, unfortunately the heater being, heater slash AC unit is 15 plus years old. So it's just a matter if I need to suck it up and spend the four plus grand to replace it. But unfortunately, that means taking out a loan against my 401k. Thankfully, it's a loan against myself, but still. I was hoping it would be, uh, it's been working pretty good so far this winter or late fall. So I was kind of hoping that, I knew it didn't fix itself, but I was hoping it'd work at a better rate. A good enough rate where it'd be okay for a while. So I think I'm going to have to suck it up. This was definitely one of my favorite scents last winter. Keep supporting November, guys. Definitely, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, definitely extremely important for those who didn't see that video yesterday.
And I'll touch up the uh, mustache area a little later. A little pastier today on my uh, first pass. Not getting the glide I normally do. way I can tell is I'll quick run. See, normally that would be enough to wash it off, but you can see it's, there's residue. That's how I personally know that I've uh, got a little dry laddie. Just from looking, obviously I can feel and everything else, but that's a good indication to me that it was too dry. I could tell kind of looking at my face. It looked so so, but as I started to shave, I could really tell it just didn't have that slickness that I expect out of out of it. A little more. This brush doesn't retain a lot of water, so but it also unfortunately in some negatives is the knot releases the lather really well to the point where when you do get it to the proper hydration level it throws it around the room you can see it's even running a little bit it's my one drawback about synthetics is they just they can be sloppy at least in my opinion Alright, it's going pretty good so far. A little, uh, little pulling, but not bad. Where I did feel the pulling is on my neck.
need to make a sort of a strop for uh, the Crocs that I have. I've got two different types. I've got a crayon. Um, Jaime, Pol Jaime Cobos gave me. And then I've also got um, some powder that Stefan um, sent me. But I just got to make a canvas little paddle, I guess you could say. Rough spot there. I'm gonna go ahead and get some cool water going. I wish my water was always that cold. Mustache, real quick. Yeah, that should do. Go ahead and put on some elbow aftershave. I'm expecting some burn on my neck, especially. One that, like I said, it always the aftershave always gives me a warming sensation. But the way that next shape went, I'm expecting to burn. Not as bad as I was thinking. Definitely getting that warming. That said, to me, this is a perfect scent for this time of year. It's got that spice, it's got a whole lot going to it, and to me it's it's a must-have. Even though I do, like right now I'm getting that warming from the aftershave, the soap not as much today, but even though I get that, to me it's still, the scent is so fantastic. Um, I really don't use it during the summer, but perfect for now. Now that that's kind of settled in a little bit, go ahead and put this rock face. Got it from uh, Was Jones. A little bit on my finger. Do just a hair more. Since the uh, weather change and kind of very nice, doesn't interfere with the smell of the, the soap or the aftershave, and like I said, it doesn't have that menthol, and I didn't really want menthol today, even though it might have counteracted the heat of the uh, aftershave a little bit. So I'm going to get going, guys. Everybody, God bless. Um, I can't believe Thanksgiving just over a week away. So I will see you tomorrow if I do a video. Kind of been taking days off a lot lately, which has been nice for me. And uh, we'll see you when I see you, I guess. God bless.